after you place your windows and doors on particular walls, which then gives you your leftover space for putting your cabinets up, you'll want to locate your cabinets. And if this were a kitchen, well, you'd want to start with probably the kitchen sink. So you'd come down to sink cabinets over on the right here. We'll click on sink base. We'll just double click on it. Now I'm going to make it 36. It could be any size we want. But we were using locate from when we had field measurements out on the job site. But if you've got something on the screen already, you want to use, <clears throat> excuse me, the next two. All this is, is one next to one, that window. We could put it left, center, or right of it. Well, it's a sink, so we'll go center on. It calculates it, you center it, and it just puts it centered on that window. And it doesn't care where it is on that wall. Now, the next thing you might want to do is pick a dishwasher. So you come down to appliances. You can double click on dishwasher. Notice it says next to three, the last unit you worked on. You can go left, center, right on. Well, we could obviously go left of, we could go right of. Center on would be kind of silly. Click OK. Now, if that's not what we want, we can always just grab it, drag it, and you'll see a little ghost image. It snaps to. You know, if we overlap it, it tells us we're overlapping it. So we say, no, we don't want to erase it, but we can just kind of pull it over and it's there. Now, there's other types of units that when you go to put them up in KCD that pretty much belong in the corner. And we set it up so that it works. So when you go to put it up, you have a choice which corner you want to put it in. Now, under base cabinets, you'll notice we have, let's say, Lazy Susan base, which is an L-shaped cabinet or 45. Let's just put an L shape up. We'll double click on it. Notice it says 36 and the depth is 36. That's just something you can preset before you uh, put this cabinet up. Now it also says left corner, right corner. Well, if we leave it on left corner and click okay, it goes in the left corner, gives us our measurement in the middle here. And if we had picked right corner, well, it would have said we're gonna overlap this unit and because we don't have the 36, the point is, is that you can put things left, center, or right of other items with the standard locating. But if it's a unit that goes in the corner, you just pick left corner or right corner. And it will automatically put it there for you. The last way of locating is by clicking on a unit, letting your mouse button, you know, off. And then you just bring your mouse cursor arrow over here. Notice it's a different shape. Hold your mouse button down, drag in the space, it will snap to location, click OK, and you've located it. So there's lots of ways to locate things in the program, but what you're going to find is once you start putting things up, you can put something center, left, right, or pick something that just goes in the corner. It gives you the space left over, and you could drag in between the space if you want by just single clicking on the unit, holding the mouse button down dragging over to the space and letting go, verify your measurement and information, click OK, and you're done.